Hi, this is John Garrick, and I'm here to give you five minutes of hope. Thanks for hanging out with me for these uh, few moments and to talk about how we can foster hope in our lives and how we can work to be agents of hope to other people. Uh, this is the idea that I want you to think about today, the idea of your stance. Yeah, your stance, your, your positioning, your footing, and how important that is when you are facing uncertainties ahead of you, when you're not sure which direction the pressure is going to come from. And really, that is how it is for you and I. We're facing a lot of pressures right now. We're not sure when the shelter in place kind of stuff is going to lift, when we're going to get back to business. How's it going to affect our economy? How's my health? How's my family? Church, all those things, they're real. They're real. But here's what I want you to think about. Your stance is really important. When I grew up uh, playing sports as a kid, if I was playing baseball and I was playing catcher, it was really important to have a balanced stance because anything, I could have to go to any direction in order to catch the ball, and that was critical. Or if you're playing in the outfield, you had to be ready for any ball in any direction, so you had to be ready to go to the left or the right, front or back. Wrestling was the same thing. When you're wrestling, you, you had to, your stance was critical because you didn't know which way your opponent was going to come. Upper body, pop you in the head, come for the leg, single leg, double leg. You just didn't know. And so you had to have a stance and your footing was critical. It was the same in football. Man, when you're down on the line, you have to know exactly where on the line you need to be and your stance had to be there. And sometimes the coach would come along in the early days and just pop us with his hip or push us to the side to see if our stance was up, to see if we would fall over or not because we had to be ready so that we didn't fall down when the pressure and the tough things happen. And in football, you just didn't know. It's a contact sport. You didn't know it which way, which play, what was gonna happen. You had to be ready. You see, our stance is critical. God knows that, and that's why he talked about it in Scripture. Now, there's a section of Scripture in Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7. It's powerful. Some have called it the Sermon on the Mount, and it's, it's got some amazing teachings. I mean, I can't go over the whole thing, but everything from giving to the needy, the Lord's Prayer is introduced there. Uh, it talks about fasting in that section, laying up treasures in heaven, not on earth. Not, uh, talks about not being anxious. Talks about judging others. Uh, the golden rules introduced. I mean, it, it's a lot of stuff. Now, here's what I want you to check. There's this one section in the book of Matthew, chapter 7, and I want to read it for you. It says this in verse 24. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on a rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat the house, but they did not fall because he had found his house, founded his house on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like the foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against the house and it fell. And great was the fall of that house. Now, it's interesting because it rains on everyone. It storms on everybody, okay? But the reality is that Jesus is trying to help us with here is it's really important to know what our footing is, our stance. Know where you're standing. You know, the authorities, the teachers of the law and that were around Jesus when he was sharing this. And it's a simple story that we kind of turned into like a kid's story. You know, it's like a little parable, but no, it's powerful. And this is what it says in verse 28 at the very end. It says, and when Jesus finished these things, saying these things, the crowds were astonished at his teaching. For he was teaching them as one who had authority and not as the scribes. It's interesting because they knew even in this simple story, this parable that Jesus was telling, there was a profound truth. Know where you're standing. Know your footing. The classic song that many have heard before, it's an old hymn. It says, my hope is built on nothing less but Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. And then the chorus, it says this, on Christ the solid rock I stand. I want you to think about this when we face uncertainty. It's important to know your footing. It's really important to know your stance. So I encourage you, press into the truth and make the rock, Jesus Christ, your footing, where you're standing. He's solid. He can take it. And no matter what comes your way, he's the one that will give you hope. Until next time, remember there's hope at every corner.